Iran test fired different classes of missiles in the final stage of its naval drills in the Sea of Oman and the Indian Ocean. The massive military maneuvers reached their climax after Iran shot down a drone over the Indian Ocean using its high-tech missile called Mehrab. The medium-range missile took 12 years and $1.5 million to make, but the Navy says it was worth the effort and the cost. This new missile has been designed and manufactured in cooperation with the research and development departments of Iran's Navy and the Defense Ministry. I can say with confidence that Iran is now among a few countries that has these high-tech missiles. This new weapon can lock up on any flying object, evade radar, and even target any source that might try to intercept it in mid-air. Iran also test-fired short- and medium-range missiles in the final day of the drills. The focal point this time was the Strait of Hormuz, where the Navy used ground, sea and air power to bring the strategic waterway under its full control for a short period of time. Iran says it has no intention to close the Strait of Hormuz, but it has warned that it might do just that if its oil exports come to a halt under the unilateral sanctions regime imposed by a number of Western governments. These drills were designed to send two clear messages. We want to tell the rest of the Persian Gulf Littoral States that regional security can only be ensured through regional cooperation. We also wanted to send this message to certain powers that Iran is always prepared to defend itself against any foreign aggression. In the final stage, thousands of Iranian forces were dispatched to the shores of the Persian Gulf to attack and destroy enemy positions using modern weapons and surveillance techniques. Iran is building new warships to go into the Atlantic Ocean and says its presence in international waters does in no way break international law. Iran's Navy officials say they plan to stage similar drills in the future. Amanaderi, Press TV, in the Sea of Oman.